Hello everybody. This is just a little exercise that I'm doing in the last two, the last two or three days, following one of the most famous tutorials out there in C sharp, but I rewritten it all in uh, JavaScript. So now, if uh, you look at the, the panel in the, in the the top panel, we can see that all the enemies they can see me once I start the play button. And now, if I just move uh, close to one of them, I start walking till uh, you reach like uh, I think it was 12 meters. Then it start running, and then it attacks. This one is a little bit different. You see the other one keep following me until I run very very far from him. Right, this one. It just attack me and then it stops immediately. Or the other one, as you can see, is still chasing me. Then I have other tree that basically does the same thing. They have the attacks and they follow me until when uh, there is some distance between uh, us, then they just walk and then they stop. You see, my I show you here where I'm pointing with um, my cursor, my head is going down uh, as they attack me, but they can only every two seconds. And now, what I'm trying to do is to implement a system. Uh, which uh, it finds the closest enemy and once he found the closest one then he allows me to attack him now i show you when this stops see this guy stop running okay here or i have my mouse over here if i press tab uh, he intercept a target and then i can uh, kill him the problem is that I have five targets, so I have to find the closest one. And unfortunately, I have some troubles in uh, changing in between uh, C Sharp uh, and JavaScript. But so far, this is what I achieved uh, in these days. So, please comment, and uh, see you later.